Hi everybody, we're out here at downtown Phoenix today. We're out here to support the Arizona Latino Arts and Culture Center on this beautiful day. One of the first things I noticed when walking in the Arizona Latino Arts and Culture Center was there is so much culture already. I looked up and seen an amazing painting of what it looks like some Manchis holding up a Mexico flag and a United States flag on a horse. I kept browsing around and seen a lot of paintings of Aztec plates, culture, and many more. Most of the arts at the most of the arts I seen there were mostly arts about women which was really inspiring because of the art book that we're reading as a class of the From Out of the Shadows. It was really nice. I kept walking around and looking at pieces. I seen a lot of candles, vases, and one of the most interesting things that they had affordable paintings and arts that you could buy yourself. I walked into the art gallery where I was blown away. I never got inside an art gallery before, and when I seen these beautiful pieces, I was amazed. I really wanted to take them all home, but obviously I couldn't afford them. They range from the price range of a thousand to five thousand, which maybe one day I could afford one, I would buy them all. One of the pieces I seen at the art gallery was a painting of Donald Trump holding a clipboard with an application of a green card with it being denied. It also shows a lot of uh, the skeletons, which I think represents like Dia de Muertos, like Latino that celebrate the Dia de Muertos, locked up and being denied their green cards and Trump. Another picture that I seen was a group of women cooking with their children, which looks like uh, they're cooking tamales, I would say. Another picture I seen was the Virgin Mary, very beautiful, really inspired by the Virgin Mary. And I was just kept walking around seeing other things. Something really interesting was uh, Pancho Villa. It says Tierra y Libertad, which means land and liberty. And it also says Viva Mexico. It was a pretty cool old picture. Of Another picture of Pancho Villa. And then this one really got my attention, how Border Patrol and immigration were arresting women and children. And they were taking them, and there was a guy beating up on the ground, which made me really sad. Overall, my experience was great at the Arizona Latino Arts and Culture Center. I would recommend this to anybody who wants to know more about the Latino culture. It was a very great experience. After going out to the Arizona Latino Arts and Culture Center, they told me about this alley where there was much more Hispanic and Latino art. I went out there and I started seeing Salino paintings. I seen this painting of some uh, the La Llorona. There was also more pictures of like uh, many like inspirational culture leaders like Cesar Chavez. Many um, art pictures of um, mariachis playing like with the dead. Many like Selena, the Virgin Mary, and there's this uh, Virgin Mary that says uh, "Si se puede, yes we can," which was really really cool. Two things I bought at the Arizona Latino Arts and Culture Center were two souvenir gifts. One of them was this nice cup, which I really liked when I first seen it. I really, I just knew I had to have it. And another thing was this soap bottle. Well, it's not really a soap bottle. It's more like a mandil for a soap bottle, which I thought was really, really cool. It's like, it's like a cover up for the soap bottle. So you put it on for any like soap bottle this size and it's just a cover up. I really thought it was really cute and everything. My girlfriend didn't really like it, but oh well. I thought it was really nice. And yeah, well, there you go, like two things I have bought in there. And I really recommend you guys going. It's a really cool place to go to. And I hope you guys enjoy my video. Thank you. Bye.